Hey there, YouTubers. So, I have wondered, we saw the early reviews for i7 11700K. I have wondered, you know, is Intel going to do some kind of microcode update, um, do something to the BIOS, uh, the motherboard, get these CPUs that are supposed to be better than 10th gen cranking. So, kind of interesting within the last week, if you look at some of the different gigabyte motherboards that actually show the processors that they support. So let's look at this bad boy here. Uh, you'll never see this on this channel or my other channels because we just can't afford it. But, uh, you know, you go in here and internet's slow where I'm at. So please forgive me. It'll just take a couple moments here. So we're going to look at a couple things. Um, you know, obviously, LGA 1200 supports 11th and 10th gen, right? Now we see down here um, some even faster speeds for RAM than what I saw originally out there, up to 5400 with 11th gen. In your 10th gen, who knows what the max speed it supports is. It's not going to be this. It's going to be higher. At least, you know, from my Z590 and B460 that I have, uh, it's much higher than that. So that's, you know, nothing exciting here. But what what piques my interest when you go to support, once again, this is going to take a little while. I don't have that awesome internet speed that I do back home. We go in here and we'll look at... Uh, let's let's look at something else here first. CPU support. So finally in these you start to see 11th gen CPUs, right? There's the 11900K, 11700K, and over here we see since BIOS version. So that's F2. Keep that in mind though. We go over to downloads in case you guys want to know how to figure out how to update your BIOS. I've got plenty of videos on that. Click on BIOS here. And what do we have here, folks? Since a lot of those videos came out downgrading Intel, talking smack about them, they have done two CPU, or excuse me, two BIOS updates. First, this update CPU microcode version not sure what this has done is I don't have that processor yet I'm getting a I'm getting one tell you what I'm getting one um, then better support for faster RAM you see that and then add Intel adaptive boost technology support what does that mean folks uh, that could be something pretty awesome now it just says the i9 hopefully that also includes the i7 that they they trashed uh, so what does that tell you not a whole lot because they don't they haven't really updated the site very well here for the the motherboards if you click on FAQ doesn't really tell you a whole lot Intel hasn't you know been so forthcoming with their information now if we go and look at Intel site for 11th gen they may have finally updated this And one thing, you know, I haven't seen reviewed is the UHD 750 graphics. So we'll definitely be doing some stuff here. Um, those are laptops. We don't care about laptops. We want to go to desktops. So this is kind of telling you all, basically seeing their whole product line for i9s. I wasn't really seeing this before. So it's saying these will all be released soon. 
for quite a price, obviously. Oh, look at this. They actually are going to have the i3 again. Not that I feel like buying another one of these, but you never know. These laptops. Those are laptops. So this is a mixture of laptop and desktop. Okay, these are desktop. So we are getting the i5-10400. Which is in here, or 11400. This guy right here. So it's only going to have UHD 730. We're also getting an 11600K. That'll have slightly better graphics. So kind of interesting, folks. Um, a lot of things out there that people just aren't aware of yet. I have faith. At least I think I have faith that Intel will... Uh, We'll turn around this negative press. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.